Colonel Saigal had come up from Rangoon to take command. He arrived on the morning of the 18th. The INA's last stand at Popa was to have a lasting effect on him. Lakshmi Saigal, who married him after the war, remembers the stories he used to tell. On the top of a hill, Colonel Prem Kumar Saigal found a little Buddha. He placed the statue in a cave and he decided to make that his headquarters. He believed that it was this Buddha who protected him during those difficult days. Colonel Dillon attempts to retrace the path to this cave. He last walked on these jungle tracks 50 years ago. His steps may have slowed, but his determination remains unchanged. This is the place. This is the place where our headquarters was. This is the place where Buddha protected us. No commander could ask for a better air raid shelter or a trench than this. Oh, how wonderful, how wonderful. It is still the same after half a century. The INA soldiers operating from this cave would ensure that a lighted candle was always placed under the Buddha. This cave sheltered our headquarters during the bloodiest days of February, March, and April 1945. It was here that we had our first aid center. Our serious patients could be treated here. And after battles, we could write orders during the night without fear of the air raids or the artillery bombardment. Enemy was supreme in the air, and they had had artillery. We didn't have any gun. We didn't have even uh, machine guns at that time. And this was uh, a boon to us. Today, when I come to this place after half a century, I cannot help bound to Lord Buddha, thanking to the people of Popa how they helped us. I bow to this place. As she places a candle here to the memory of her husband, the past catches up with Lakshmi Saigo. Suddenly, the stories her husband had told for decades begin to unfold here with fresh life. Until the very end, he had cherished his memories of the last stand at Popa.